There's been panic about the new thing floating in the sky. <laughs> I thought it was one of Tinker Tom's aliens. Aliens are real! Enough! The blimp is called the Pridwin, and it's operated by the Brotherhood of Steel. The Brotherhood of Steel are a formidable, highly advanced order. And they've come here to destroy Synth. Shit! Spread the word. The Brotherhood are our enemies. There's no possibility of peace. Tinker Tom will be spearheading a fail-safe plan to deal with this Brotherhood. Codename Red Glare. But for now, we monitor them and keep them clear of our operations. The focus remains on the Institute. You've all got jobs to do. Do them. The, the H222 situation appears to have been resolved satisfactorily. Please but there's yet keep more it to up. be done. Since the. Desdemona. One hey, more you. hour until my shift ends. Welcome to the family. Working with We're a colorful and arguably insane It's a difficult bunch. transition for new agents. But you're stuck with us Based now. off what Deacon Speaking said, of which, I if you don't mind, uh... From you. The H-222 situation appears to have been resolved satisfactorily. But there's yet more to be done. Since the fall of the switch... Uh-huh. Until we know the butcher's bill from the Institute's assault, all Asshole. details await at the dead drop. Have a care. Hey. Hey there. Neil is transmitting loads of information. At first glance, the atmosphere appears normal. But I'm going to dive deep into the data. I already lined up another place to stash one of my babies. If you got the time. Pam wants you. She explained why, but I couldn't figure it out. Glad you signed on. <laughs> Means I might get to take the occasional night off. I hope that you take that armored behemoth off on covert missions. Use the back entrance. Too much traffic to the church and we'll burn this hideout. Everyone's...
Hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, 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 time out. If someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. You soft Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm well, not buying that. Thing. Hello. We come in peace, Malarkey. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Sure. Let's take a look. Purchase a variety and. Uh huh. Brotherhood of Steel, better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. <laughs> well, well, Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about the lonely. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Dr. Amari? Yes. Wait, I know you. You're in the railroad. What's this all about? We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Amari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. 
This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Hmm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. People always hoping for something better. A usual... Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess oh, I was such a dummy back then. What did this I know about how the world worked? I think now there she wanted me to, to kill him. Another intact I should have. Close to you in temporary Instead, sequence. I ended up... There. Try that one. The thing about happiness is... is you only know you had it... when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but... Uh, you don't really believe it. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should Let's have a looking. daughter. I'll connect you to the next intact no, memory. 
I never deserved her. Not for one second. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. I found another memory. And to you find. I'll connect you. weren't there to help them. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Mr. Kellogg. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Systems offline. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... Find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. This is the one. Here. Open it. Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come no, here, wait. baby. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Wasn't my idea to Is settle down with the kid son? in the middle of Diamond City. This appears to be a very recent memory. <laughs> I thought it was a so terrible idea, actually. Good news, I think. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had 
turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Well, some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. If anything like this had ever happened before, I'd never heard of it. Maybe a sign that the old man was losing his grip. Finding someone in the glowing sea wasn't gonna be any picnic. But I never expected an institute egghead to give me so much trouble. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye.